Hello there, welcome to New Vision TV this 15th day of March 2019. My name is Victoria Namtebi. Now we'll kick off with Around Uganda and here are the headlines. National Drug Authority constructing state-of-the-art laboratories to improve testing process of drugs. Presidential farm boosts sensitization about modern farming in Arua district. And 10 arrested for vandalizing power transmission lines. Let's now take a look at the news in detail. The National Drug Authority is constructing an ultra-modern tower that will host high-tech laboratories for testing the efficacy and quality of drugs that are manufactured within the country or imported. Dr. Medad Vitecherezo, the NDA board chairperson, said the new laboratory will strengthen the authority's capacity to eradicate substandard, falsified and counterfeit medicines and acaricides in the country. The new tower, which is estimated to cost 32 billion shillings, will accommodate a pharmaceutical, food, herbal medicine and a microbial laboratory and a sample storage room. Now the building is going to be set up at the old National Drug Authority offices in Nakasero. Over now to Arua district where the presidential farm that was opened in August 2018 has greatly contributed to teaching farmers on modern farming practices. The 10-acre farmland with different enterprises established at Girigiri in Pajulu sub-county by President Yori Kaguta Mseveni currently employs 13 staff. Charles Chiwua, the private secretary in the office of the president in charge of agriculture, said the main purpose of this farm is to train farmers on modern farming practices so that they can replicate the good practices on their farms. The partitioned farm has 5,000 plants of pineapples, 200 plants of pawpaws, oranges, 400 plants of coffee, 400 plants of bananas and mangoes, and besides fruits, President Museveni has also established pasture for animals feed to rare dairy cattle. You're still watching Around Uganda. Let's now take a look at the stories that are making headlines in today's copy of The New Vision. Now the new vision is already on the market at only 2,000 Uganda shillings. Get yourself a copy or also get yourself the e-paper using the Vision Group app. Just go to your Google Play Store on your phone, download the Vision Group app and there you go. You'll have access to all Vision Group products. In more news, Mbilizi police station in Luengo is holding 10 people for allegedly vandalizing the Rural Electrification Agency power transmission lines. The suspects are believed to be members of a racket operating in Luengo. Liantonde, Masaka and other districts in the greater Masaka region. Now detectives have been trailing the group for several months until they ran out of luck. Some were caught red-handed cutting the power lines on Saturday while others were arrested on subsequent days. The most affected villages include Chalutuaka and Malongo sub-county. Felix Muguzi, the district police commander, says it is a big racket with very many people. He says the first group does the scouting of target areas, another cuts the wires, another one sells and buys the stolen wires, and then there's also a group that melts them. Over now to Chenjojo district where the police have launched investigations into the murder of five children, all belonging to the same family. The children have been identified as seven-year-old Barbara Atuhaire, four-year-old Oscar Alinganira, three-year-old Lynette Ainebiona, two-year-old Davis Trinomgisha and a baby of two months, only identified as Abuoli. Now, according to Lydia Tumushabe, the Renzori West Regional Police spokesperson, the incident happened on Wednesday night at the home of Joseph Tumwebaze in Kahompo village, Bufunjo sub-county in Shenjojo district. Tumushabe says the incident happened when people broke the door and accessed the house, locked Gerald Akampulira, a relative, into his room, before accessing the room where the children were. Their father had gone for a business trip in Kasese. Yeah, it's a sad story there. May the souls of the deceased rest in eternal peace and may God strengthen the family that has lost its loved ones. Over now to Mbara District. It's over two weeks now since the State House Anti-Corruption Unit stormed Mbara District and arrested a number of officers on allegations of poor accountability of government funds and sale of government land. Now, the Office of the Chief Administrative Officer and Mbara Municipality Town Clerk have received new acting officers. Lilian Kobsinje, who has been the Deputy Chief Administrative Officer of Mbara District, is now the acting town clerk of Mbara Municipal Council. 
while Ananias Sheamba Ruhemba, who has been the Chief Administrative Officer of Ntungamo District, is now the new Chief Administrative Officer of Mbara District. Amina Naluima, the Information Officer, Mbara Municipal Council, told New Vision on phone that a new town clerk has been named. Several officials were interdicted and they include Rosalia Karuhanga, the District Clerk, the Chief Administrative Officer, Esoku Felix, Godlive Nayebare, Senior Lands Management, Emmanuel Himbisa, the Staff Surveyor, Richard Karere, the Municipal Treasurer, Agriat Kwasa, the Deputy Municipal Engineer, and Edward Luanga, the Town Clerk. And finally, in Gulu District, the Chief Magistrates yesterday adjourned, saying he will rule on the accused property on the 4th of July 2019. The defense had asked court to pronounce itself on the property belonging to Robert Chagulani and 35 others. The adjournment kept, came after long arguments put to the court by both the prosecution and defense over the issue of accused persons' belongings and items being treated as police exhibits. On 10th January, court was asked to make an order to summon the police officer in charge of investigations in Arua and Gulu to appear in court to explain the issue of the property of the accused. Now, Arua CID officer Davis Lusambo explained to the court the categories of items or properties of the accused persons, saying that some were treated as prosecution exhibits while others were acknowledgments of persons to suspect's property. Lusambo enlisted some of the items, including the exhibits category as being phones, iPads, motor vehicles that were found at the crime scene, among others. He said those under the APP or the persons to suspect's property include other phones and other personal belongings that were on the accused persons but not at the scene of crime. And that's it for Around Uganda. Stay tuned to New Vision TV. Visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. You can also get us on YouTube, New Vision TV, on Twitter, at New Vision Wire, and on Facebook, New Vision. My name is Victoria Namtebi. Many thanks for watching. You can also join me on Twitter at Victoria Namtebi and on Facebook, Victoria Namtebi. Have yourselves a blessed day.